One of the main reasons to introduce these changes is because the data shows the internationally trained professionals face difficulties in meeting the requirement of Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amarda Rupani and in today's video, I am going to share an exciting news with you all engineers that Professional Engineering Ontario has launched their new license application process on May 15th. And the purpose of this new process is to simplify and streamline the application journey, making it more efficient, transparent and fair for all engineering license applicants. So without wasting any time, let me just walk you through those changes. Okay, so this new process begins with a brief questionnaire called, Am I ready to apply? This survey helps candidates assess their engineering academics and experience qualifications to determine if they are ready to apply for a license or not. So all you have to do is just go on to this page and it is given in the description box below. And once you answer all of these questions, it will give you the results if you qualify or not. So basically this tool will help you to find out if you're eligible for your PNG application at the moment or not. Candidates who meet the qualifications will receive the formal application to start the new license application process. And those who don't qualify for this, they will receive a guidance on the next steps to take. Therefore, all the potential applicants must demonstrate the required academic and experience qualifications before applying. One of the main reasons to introduce these changes is because the data shows the internationally trained professionals face difficulties in meeting the requirement of having one year of Canadian work experience, which is a part of their licensing process. Therefore, PEO is going to simplify and speed up its licensing process by eliminating the one year of mandatory Canadian work experience. So basically, there are two main requirements that you need to meet in order for you to qualify for your uh, PNG application. One is academic requirements, another one is experience. The academic requirements remain same as before. I've already discussed the detailed uh, academic requirements in my previous video and the link of that video is given in the description box below. You can check it out. Now let's talk about the experience requirements, which is a big change and it is a great news for all the new immigrants who have engineering background. The great news is now you do not need to show one year of Canadian work experience under the supervision of a licensed engineer. At the time of application, candidates applying for a PNG license need to demonstrate completion of 48 months of experience that aligns with the requirements for engaging in the practice of professional engineering. This is assessed through a competency-based assessment, CBA, which evaluates engineering competencies in areas such as technical skills, communication, project management, and professional accountability. And on the top of that, another great news that I wanted to share with you all is that they have reduced the registration decision time frame as well. Yes guys, you had it right. That means most of you will receive your decision within the six months of your application submission, the complete application submission. Let's talk about engineer and training program, which is EIT. As of May 15th, the EIT program is not going to be offered. And guys, another important thing that I wanted to mention is that applicants who applied before May 15th will generally continue following the application process that was in place when they applied. However, they will also be required to complete a CBA experience assessment form unless their experience has already been assessed. All these changes that I just discussed in this video will be required to fully comply by December 2nd of this year. Okay guys, so that was pretty much it for today and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. I will be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there is a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I'll see you again.